here with Tim Ballou, head coach of the BC baseball team after uh, two tough losses today against Minnesota Duluth. Uh, Tim, kind of first talk about the first game, uh, a couple miscues in the field gives uh, Duluth some runs, but uh, you can't score if you don't, or you can't win if you don't score. Well, you know, I think, you know, we just talked about it uh, a little bit ago. I mean, I, I think that both games turned on, on one play and, you know, our, our shortstop makes, up, makes that play with the bases loaded and, and two outs in the, in the bottom or top of the sixth uh, with a 0-0 zero, zero game 99 out of 100 times. He just didn't make it. And, uh, you know, that play probably killed us the first game and helped turn the momentum. And then, you know, Miles did a pretty good job of battling out there and doing some good things on the mound. And then, you know, we got one out and we have a, what I think is a routine ground ball hit to our second baseman. Uh, it stayed down and went between his legs and they scored three runs. If he feels that like I expect him to and throw to first, we, we got two outs and I don't think they scored three runs. And that was, you know, to me, the two deciding factors. Uh, we got to do a better job of just fundamental baseball. Uh, we made some mistakes today. You saw Duluth. I mean, they were good. So they didn't make many mistakes, and if anything, they made a lot of great plays. Uh, talk a little bit about the bats. Uh, first game just kind of wasn't there, but second game hit the ball really hard. Just to <laughs> seemed to just uh, Duluth just kept making plays. It's baseball, you know. For some reason, you know, we ticked the gods off yesterday. I guess we got two yesterday, and and today it just wasn't meant to be. I, you know, this conference, and I just told our kids out there, I said, we're still in a great position. We're five and three right now. If you told me coming in that we're gonna, the worst we're gonna do is split with Duluth, I'm gonna say, okay. Uh, it hurts a little being the fact that we got our two yesterday and had a shot at at least winning the series and we didn't get that done. But, you know, overall this weekend, our pitching was pretty good. Uh, defensively, for the most part, was pretty good. Just a couple crucial plays. And, um, you know, the biggest has played. I mean, we, we got to do a little bit better job. And I'm not taking away anything from, from their pitching staff because it's good. But we have to do a little bit better job. We got a little, we got a little loose with some at-bats, a little undisciplined at times. And, and you just can't do that in this conference. And, and the other thing is, is welcome to NSIC baseball from you guys. Uh, NSIC in general in every sport. Every weekend's going to be a battle. And if you don't bring it every day, you're not going to win. Here, Trevor Purvis, left fielder for the BSU Beavers baseball team. Uh, Trevor, two tough losses today. A uh, couple miscues in the field in the first game, and then uh, the hits just couldn't find uh, anything but uh, UMD glove. Just kind of talk about the game today. Yeah, everything everything we're hitting was pretty solid, and they was finding the gloves, and they just made the plays when they had to, and we did it. Um, obviously, UMD is a, is a good team, but uh, had to have high expectations coming in after taking two yesterday. Uh, what was kind of the morale entering the game, and then uh, how do you guys feel now? I feel like we might have been overconfident coming into game one, and they probably had a little chip on their shoulder wanting to win two today. And uh, our morale is definitely a little down, but we have to get back at it this week and work hard. Talk about your first uh, 2022 games uh, as a Beaver uh, here in Bemidji. Um, Leadoff man playing uh, starting left field and uh, or right field, excuse me, and uh, just playing pretty well. Uh, yeah, just it's been a good experience. I, I like this field. It's a nice field to play on, good atmosphere, and the guys on the team are good, and we have a good team this year, and I think we could do some things. So. Uh, what, do you, what can we expect from the Beavers coming up next weekend against Upper Iowa? Well, we're definitely going to come out. We're going to we're going to come out and hit, I think, and come out and play some good baseball. We're we're not going to let this stand.